is Jaja. I'm the country director uh, from VIN, uh, covering uh, Malaysia, Brunei and emerging markets. Uh, we are the uh, data management company who is specialized in backup and replications. And uh, in fact, the great news is uh, we actually are considered the number one a, um, enterprise of backup and replications in worldwide right now. We just got it from the, the latest uh, IDC. Right. Definitely. Okay, um, today in the um, new era right now, a lot of enterprises, they are looking at uh, migrating um, part of the workload, right, from on-prem, which is pretty much traditional, to cloud. And they are even talk about um, hyperscaler, multi-cloud, from cloud to cloud. More than just one public cloud. And also, a, some are explored uh, in terms of moving some of the workload to the private cloud as well. So, this is uh, definitely fit pretty much fit into our solution because these solutions, we um, our DNA is basically provide uh, one solution, um, backup replication to the company whereby they are actually free to move the workload, be it in on-prem, um, cloud, software as a services, through CSP, so forth and so on. So this is what we are good at. Yep. I think it is a very good um, uh, turn up today, especially I guess uh, after the pandemic, right? A lot of the um, sharing sessions, education, technology sharing sessions is uh, pretty much welcome, right? And I see the great turn up uh, today, which is good. And after the presentation uh, on stage just now, we also actually have a lot of the um, cust uh, potential customer came and um, have the further questions to ask what is our solutions like and how basically my solution, green solution will be able to um, value add to what we are having right now. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Um, I think uh, MBAC, uh, especially this one or two years, they really uh, do a lot of things, right? Um, cater for the, the, especially the digital transformation side. They actually play a very important role as well. Um, as a leader and as so-called like um, some sort of the, the set a guideline um, and to the rest of the enterprises just beyond the government right they also look up and, and that what sort of the policy uh, what sort of the initiative they have so that they can actually um, learn something from them so I think um, and that has done a, a great job especially uh, these few years yeah, because the digital transformation is, uh, it is very um, so-called, uh, it happens very probably across the board. Not just on the enterprises that we see, um, commercial, SMI, and also the government. So we see um, um, the, the whole tra digital transformation is really happening in Malaysia right now. I think um, what is uh, important is, right, um, in terms of the wind setup in Malaysia, I would like to uh, emphasize again, uh, we are not just here to basically uh, penetrate the market, then we get the benefit of it. But in return, we have the big setup in Malaysia as well. In fact, the inside sales organization, or we call it call center, sales call center, Southeast Asia Korea are actually based in Malaysia. So we are also in Malaysia, we are also provide the job opportunity to the local here. So we are the regional uh, call center for Southeast Asia and Korea as well, which to a lot of other software companies, you will not see this happen, right? Then personally, I'm very proud because of it actually helped to give back to Malaysia, right? So we, we actually get a lot of customers from government. Mampu is our reference customer as well. So thanks uh, Mampu for helping us as well to roll up to a lot of other uh, government agencies and uh, we are playing very well in the FSI sector and also uh, the rest of the world as well be it big enterprise, commercial and also the small company uh, but we are here not just to, to get what we want to penetrate the market but in return we are also contributing 
the job opportunity to Malaysia and also to the economy as well. Yeah, so I think this is pretty focal. Yeah. Definitely, I think it is a great platform that we get to connect uh, not just the government. I see some of the um, enterprise, the private sector as well. They are here today. So basically, because the enterprise, they also pretty much relate to what are the initiative, what are the guidelines, what are the blueprint that the governments, right, and that, and the rest of the ministry agency, uh, they put in place so that they can align with the policy and also uh, pretty much from a compliance perspective as well. Yes. Thank you so much.